Hey everyone, Keita here from Nanum. Today we're going to be talking about the DNA structure, which you've probably seen in sci-fi films and maybe even some comic books, uh, and how uh, this structure right here makes that makes what makes us us. Um, and so you've probably seen this kind of double helix structure. Um, maybe some of you have even learned about uh, base pairs, uh, which are these kind of complicated letters uh, and, and words over here, which we won't go over today. But basically, all you need to know is that A, T, G, C, or C, G. And, uh, you know, the A only goes with T uh, and G only goes with C. And so you can see those colors that correspond to that. Of course, that's boring to see in 2D. So let's, you know, because we're in VR and, and AR, we can actually see the uh, 3D uh, kind of structure just like this uh, in Nano, which is always cool to see the actual 3D kind of twisted ladder-like structure. But, you know, when you go down to the nano scale or the molecular level, you're not actually going to see these, you know, nice little ladder-like structures. Um, and in fact, what you actually see um, if you go down to the molecular level um, is these atoms. So let me just show that again real quick. Um, you know, this is kind of earlier what we just saw. It's kind of what we see often. Uh, but when you actually look at the molecular level, um, you can start to see all these different atoms. And so, um, you know, the, the phosphate backbone that we talk about here, it's, it's not just because um, of the, you know, backbone-like structure. It's also because of the fact that, you know, these orange atoms right here, these are actually phosphate atoms um, that are coupled with, with oxygen atoms, uh, which are the, the uh, red ones. Um, and so uh, that's actually what it means. Um, and of course, each pair that you see up here, you know, the A and T and a C and a G, they are, they're all basically, um, you know, uh, combinations of atoms or, or molecules. Um, and so these combinations of molecules, if you look closely, you know, like this one's different from this one. Let me just make this, you know, real massive so that it's easier to see here. Um, that there's some subtle nuances uh, be between these each of these combinations. And that's what makes all of them unique. So really, it's literally like atomic scale differences uh, that make the difference. And so then you might ask, you know, why are they called base pairs? Well, actually, there are these bonds called hydrogen bonds uh, that allow them to be pairs. And so I'm going to actually calculate uh, the hydrogen bonds here. Um, and so then now you can start to see these dotted blue lines uh, all, all show kind of um, the uh, how each of these, you know, the, the A and the T and the G and the C are all uh, bounded together via these pairs, which again is, is just so much more obvious to see um, at the molecular level when you're in, you know, VR, AR, just like this. Um, and in fact, what's even cooler is that you can actually take them apart and see those bonds um, uh, kind of uh, forming or, or deforming. And so um, what I'm going to do here uh, is just take uh, one of them and I'm going to move them. So you can see here the hydrogen bonds. Um, and uh, I'm going to see how if I move them away, it, it uh, automatically kind of goes away. And then if I move them closer, they bond back. And then I can really kind of get that intuition, you know, much more easier by getting hands on uh, with this uh, DNA structure. Uh, you know, which is just, it's so cool to see. Um, and in fact, in Nano, uh, it's not just the fact that you can get down to this molecular level and get hands-on. Um, you can actually make animations of this. And so I've already go ahead and made one right here. Um, and so we're using the frames menu. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and play it back here. And so the DNA comes along and then it's, and then it uh, perfectly attaches each of those bases together. Um, I just turned on those hydrogen bonds again so you can see that. Um, and it's just, it's so awesome to just see what DNA actually looks like at this molecular level. So in this case, you know, we turned on both uh, kind of the higher level abstraction, which, you know, the green bars that we saw earlier and the actual atoms. So um, you can see both of them and, you know, you don't have to necessarily watch both of them uh, here. I'm going to go ahead and go to the display menu here and then turn off uh, the ribbon structures. And now it's just purely the atomic side of things. Uh, you know, of course, it's easier if you're not in VR to have that higher level extraction uh, with that kind of, you know, secondary view like this, right? Um, uh, so it's a little more easier and less complicated. But when you are in VR, being able to see each of those atoms um, correspond to one another with those hydrogen bonds is so, so awesome. And uh, in fact, you know, this is what makes us us, right? These DNA uh, is what encodes RNA. And of course, RNA enc uh, encodes proteins. Uh, and the proteins are what makes up cells and cells are what makes up 
um, you know, the tissues in your organs. And of course, organs is what makes us us, right? Whether it's the heart of the brain or or all those types of awesome, amazing things that your body has to offer. So uh, that's a very quick kind of a spatial recording we have on DNA. Um, if you like more of these, please check out the other spatial recordings we have uh, throughout Nanom, um, whether you're a novice just starting out in chemistry or biology, or if you're an expert uh, chemist in drug discovery, we have all kinds of spatial recordings just for you. So thanks again for viewing this spatial recording, and we'll see you in the next spatial recording.